My name is Dr. Dorit Farrell. I would like to give you an overview of an article entitled The Role of Sleep Quality in the Metabolic Syndrome. In this article, my co-authors and I review the cross-sectional evidence linking insufficient and in some studies uh, excessively long sleep with increased risk of obesity, um, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and metabolic syndrome and its elements, and in adults also with cardiovascular and cerebrovascular disease risk. We also review the pathophysiological evidence gathered from experimental sleep restriction studies performed primarily in sleep labs and occasionally uh, at home sleep restriction studies, which in adults have uh, generally shown increased insulin resistance um, and increased uh, glucose levels, uh, sometimes fasting generally postprandially. And uh, in the one adolescent study examining this, it has shown increased insulin resistance in the sleep-restricted state. We also review the evidence linking obstructive sleep apnea with increased risk of um, obesity, uh, which is a, uh, a loop, a feedback loop, as obesity also predisposes to obstructive sleep apnea. However, obstructive sleep apnea, as we review, also increases the risk of insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease in adults, and insulin resistance in children and adolescents. We also review the impact of treatment of obstructive sleep apnea upon weight, which in both adults and children, uh, obstructive sleep apnea treatment generally leads to weight gain. Um, and with the metabolic impact of obstructive, of obstructive sleep apnea treatment, which is generally favorable with uh, somewhat inconsistent improvement in insulin sensitivity and glucose levels in adults and increased um, insulin sensitivity in children despite the aforementioned weight gain. Finally, we review evidence of an emerging field of, uh, examining chronotype. Uh, so the, but the tendency towards being um, an early bird or a night owl uh, and the metabolic impact of those inherited tendencies, specifically that having a late chronotype in adults may predispose to increased risk of type 2 diabetes and of poor glycemic control in individuals with type 2 diabetes.